We've got plenty of news to get to at five, but first a message to Shelby County parents. There's new details tonight on plans to provide the COVID-19 vaccine to five to 11 year olds once it's FDA approved in a few weeks. Brad Broders is live at the Shelby County Health Department in the medical district. Brad, this is big news for families tonight. It certainly is, Yvonne. The health director here described this upcoming expected news as a game changer since there are 92,000 children between the ages of 5 and 11 in Shelby County. Getting them vaccinated will increase the overall vaccination rate in Shelby County and protect more school-aged children around others. Now, earlier today, Shelby County Health Director Dr. Michelle Taylor said that this news is going to be expected to be announced in the coming weeks from the FDA and CDC once they approve that COVID 19 vaccine for five to 11 year olds. Pre planning is already underway for this population locally. Similar to adult vaccine doses, the Tennessee Department of Health will allocate its supply for children through the Shelby County Health Department, pharmacies, doctor's offices, and other partners. Dr. Taylor said one idea is setting up a separate tent and lane for children at mass vaccination sites and having children get out of the car to get their doses. Area school districts will also be another likely vaccine partner. I believe that parents are going to have a lot of options. Uh, we are already reaching out to different providers to make sure that those options are available. And so we will have more information as we get closer to an approval date with available resources for parents who choose to have their children vaccinated. We want to make it as accessible as possible. Now this this news today comes across the backdrop of some other encouraging COVID-19 news in Shelby County. The seven day new case average has dropped by more than half in the past two weeks and pediatric active cases have plummeted from 823 two weeks ago to 326 today. Yvonne. Brad, thank you so much. Those are good numbers. But what about the next health directive for November? Any chance that the indoor mask mandates could be lifted? Elevon, it does not appear so. The health director said today that right now, one in four in Shelby County, including those children, remain vulnerable to potential COVID-19 infections. Dr. Taylor asked the community to hold on, get have a little more patience, just a little bit longer, especially with upcoming holiday gatherings planned. Live in the Medical District, I'm Brad Broders reporting.